Hi folks, this is Nikhil and you are learning Golang with me. In this special series on concurrency in Golang, I have already explained what is the difference between the concurrency and parallelism and then how to use the Golang routines which actually uh, imitate the threading of Java. However, the difference is Golang routines are really, really lightweight as compared to the threads. Then I also talked about the mutex, the rest condition, and then uh, I touched based up upon the um, critical region, and then I showed how you can use a shared variable um, in this multi-core processor programming environment and how that shared variable can be used by different consumers they can do the read and write operations in the consistent fashion only when you make use of the mutex now i am taking this concept to the next level because now i will be focusing on the atomic package in golang now this atomic package is similar to the java atomic package in which the uh, lower level instructions are used and this low level instructions are enabled because of the uh, modern era processor so you have the compare and swap and uh, other such low level instructions which directly access the variable from the memory location and do the actual read or write operation so you don't have to add the critical region in your program in fact if you use the data structures which are which are which are there in the atomic package and automatically the concurrency is guaranteed by the uh, data structure so let's see how to do so so i have already write i have already uh, coded this program in which now you can see we have the counter which is of integer 64 and then um, I have the outer loop uh, I have the uh, inner loop now this outer loop is just to uh, just to uh, corroborate the uh, fact that when, when you use the atomic integer then it's really easy to do the concurrent programming so what I'm gonna do is I have the uh, wet group instance and then uh, in the uh, thousand samples now these are the samples right we are just executing the same program over and over again just to see just to observe what is output each time now I have the counter variable that is getting set or reset to zero every time I have the uh, wet group instance in which the delta is 20 and then I am running this program uh, over the 20 iterations and then I'm just I'm just saying go and run on your own I'm just saying this uh, anonymous function to go uh, to run on its own and in that anonymous function I have the loop where that is running from 0 to 20 and then uh, 1 to 20 or uh, let's say 20 iterations in which I'm actually adding one to the counter so this is equivalent to saying counter is equal to counter plus one and then this is equal to equivalent to saying that uh, read the counter value so um, so if i run this program then you will see that each time the uh, each time i execute the program i do see that the counter is 400 and if you see the mutex program so yeah so so in the race condition demo i have explained how to make use of the mutex instance and then you can add the lock around the counter so that uh, the lock is on the mutex instance but this is shared variable like the counter so if you want to execute this critical in, uh, uh, instruction in the critical region then you have to own the lock and that's why 
uh, this is known as the mutex and this is known as the critical region now atomic integer you have the atomic package and then you use add in 64 then you provide the address of your counter variable or let's say variable that is required to have the concurrent access from different consumers and then you read the value just to ensure that whatever operation that you have done is actually concurrent and does not have any side effect so only the difference or the subtle difference is you have to make use of these instructions or the apis in order to do the right operation you need to do uh, add in 64 similarly um, notice similarly if you go to the atomic package then you will find that you have the other uh, other uh, apis as well so uh, you have the add unsigned integer 32 add int 32 you have, you have the compare and swap uh, pointers uh, load in 32 is to load the value from the address load in 64 is to load the in 64 variable so you can just go through this package and it's figure out on your own um, uh, how the lower level atomic memory primitives are used to implement the synchronization algorithms um, so that's it for now um, uh, if you really require to have the concurrent access in the in the golang program uh, the best option is to make use of the channels but you also have this atomic integer package that you should be aware of so that whenever there is a requirement you can just resort to this way and you can have the uh, have the simplistic and uh, uh, highly efficient program that actually has the concurrent uh, that actually has the best concurrent practices that's it for now see you in the next session